It's time we take on the second C with our awakened dough fruit, boys. And don't forget, press like and subscribe if you are new and if you want to see more of these kinds of series. Usually, if you're a smarty pants, you would keep doing cyborg and skip fighting the NPCs here. But I'm just going to do all second C, so... We gotta talk to this dude and then fight the super annoying guys down here. And finally, 725 or 27. We can move on from the worst NPCs and fight the mercenaries. That's 750. We can move on to the boss now if it's not too difficult. All right, so I ended up skipping out on Diamond. It was kind of a pain to find one that players wouldn't just kill me. Obviously, you're really close to the cafe, so if you're in a public server, you get killed a lot. I ended up just fighting these guys right to 775, and now we can move on to... Is it the... I can't remember if it's the Swan Pirates or whatever, but it's it's just over here. And these are some of my favorite to grind. Yo, so I just hit level 800 after doing Swan Pirates for ever. 25 levels. Jeremy is at 850. So I'm just going to stick to the Swan Pirates because factory staff are the actual worst. And now I have Doe Fist. All right. I just hit 850, which means finally I can move on. We skipped the factory staff, obviously. Whoops. And now it is Jeremy time. I don't know if I've put enough into defense because once we move from Jeremy onto the gravity boss, we'll actually start getting hit. So you kind of need to finally have a decent amount of HP. But I'm fairly certain since this fruit is just brokenly OP, I won't have any trouble regardless. He hit me once and I'm half HP. Yeah, okay, so this is a bit of a problem. All right, easy game. Okay, he's not going to be difficult and I can actually fight him on public servers because I just get the quest here and then roll up the mountain. Yo, I did not even realize, but I'm already level 900. It's kind of breezy doing Jeremy. Now I'm going to stay at this until 925. Then I'll move on to the next boss, but something good happened. I got this bad boy. Can't remember if it's actually good or not, but it kind of just looks cool on me. So I'm going to just wear it. This should be our last Jeremy kill. I haven't gotten PvP'd too many times. There's actually one guy that I want to like fully shout out. He waited until I was done killing Jeremy. I'd gotten my level up and then he murdered me with his third C abilities. But at least he let me get the NPC kill and level up. Kind of gotten into a really, really good rotation as well. It's so easy to fight with this fruit. Like if you have it in the second C, just awaken it here. It's so overpowered. I know it's getting nerfed in the next update, which will probably be a little bit sad. Hey, spiky coat again. 926, which means finally we can move on to fighting the gravity boss. I know this boss will hit me a couple of times, which is why I grabbed a little bit more HP. But hopefully I can just... I mean, I can long range everything with this fruit. No matter what happens, yeah, I can just stand back and throw punches if I have to. Yeah, very, very easy game. And there's no boss here again. Okay, so... When I hit level 1000 anytime soon, I will be moving on to different NPCs. I can do snow troopers over on the island over there from 1000 onwards. It's just the gravity boss has always been killed. It makes it a massive pain. Oh, these guys. Wait, you have hockey. You can hit me, right? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Level 1000. Definitely. Oh, the adventurer. Nice. We need to move on. The gravity boss is really easy to kill. It's just he's in the middle of the map. So he's kind of always dead on every server that you join. All right, we're going to set our spawn here. Now, I know usually I could go off and I would do like my race quests and everything like that. But since there's no way for me to turn into a mink without going and grinding fragments for now, I'm just going to stay as a human. And in part three, when I can easily get fragments in the third C, that's when we'll uh, change our race to Mink and probably get version 3. All right, final four, and then we're moving on maybe to the other side of the island. They bounced wrong, and I didn't catch them all. No! In the past, with, like, other Devil Fruits, the other side of the island has been a real pain to farm. So maybe I'll come back over here and do another 50 levels here, but we'll just... We'll go see. I destroyed the bridge! Oh, I'm so lucky that I hit there and I bounced up. Oh, I thought I was going to fall. I didn't get the quest. Oh, good. The bridge is back. All right, nine. Of this. Can I not get across the bridge? Does that mean? 
No, it's fine. Okay. The last three winter warriors. These have been so easy. To of course, one would get stuck. I gotta kill three more and one of those three would get stuck in the ground. That's just whatever. These have been great to grind. I'm excited to do lab subordinates though. They're faster. Moving on, we're going to hot and cold. We're nearly up to where we get to grind another boss, which will be such a like increase in speed for our leveling. And then I don't know, man, it's it's kind of smooth sailing once you get to smoke admiral. All right, 1,150 lab subordinates are the worst because they can flash step to you or teleport to you until Logia kicks in. Then they're actually kind of the best to grind. I had no idea you could destroy that door. I had no idea you could destroy that bridge in the other village too. Wow, the dough fruit just ruins everything. All right, hopefully this guy won't be too difficult. He's using the old smoke fruit, which is kind of worse to fight against than the new one. This could be a little bit annoying. And there we go. Okay, he's not too bad. I don't think I'll die every time. We just hit 1,175. I was going to stick to smoker, but he is a massive pain. I'd rather just do magma ninjas. This is them, right? Yeah, I think I did these guys when I did the devil fruit notifier. So they are kind of good to grind. All right, level 1,200, but I'll be sticking to Magma Ninjas because the other ones, the Lava Pirates, are a massive pain. 1,250, boys. Let's go. I think Cursed Ship is where we're at, which can be a little bit slow to grind. I'm thinking if I get, like, sick of the Cursed Ship, I might come back, do a little bit of Smoke Admiral because he'll still give me a few levels per kill. And I can sort of just alternate depending on what I enjoy. I know the doe fruit is like a pretty good all-terrain vehicle, but can I get up this? No, there's a there's a gap there. How you drive this thing? Let's go! Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh! All-wheel drive, boys. All-terrain, all-wheel drive. Easy. All right. 1,250. Give me them deck hands. Yeah. All right. Here is the last two, and then we'll be 1,300. We move on to ship stewards. These guys have actually been great. I don't know what I was worried about, except for when I miss with my attacks like that. These have honestly felt amazing. I don't even know if the stewards are going to be as good or not. This was also a big milestone because during this training, I maxed out my blocks fruits, which means now I'll just start sort of like evenly increasing these. I know in the third C, I'm going to need a lot of energy, so I don't want to undercommit to that. I have a feeling that if I get all of them and I bring them like, yeah, close. It oh, they do that. That's not good. And then I use my clothesline. It'll pull them all together, right? It actually does. That's amazing. And then I separated them. All right. The stewards were so good to grind. And we're about to hit 350, which means we can go to the ice island and start grinding there. Once we get to the ice admiral, things will get super easy because I'll probably do ice admiral all the way up to tidekeeper, then tidekeeper to 1500. And then we're done and we'll be able to go to the third C. We're up to the last four, and then we can move on to the Ice Admiral at 1,400. Feels good, man. I'm fairly certain I can go roll up the hill pretty easily, and then just server hop. When I originally did this on my main account, I never even did the Tidekeeper. I just stuck to this guy because he was the easiest. But I'm fairly certain with Awakened Doe, I can do the Tidekeeper as well. So we'll be doing this guy for probably 100 levels. All right, here we go, boys. Last one of these. I said I'd probably do this till Tidekeeper, but I guess just so many people grind bosses for levels now. It's kind of hard to find a boss that hasn't been killed. I genuinely think it'd be faster just to kill the NPCs on the Skull Island from whatever level, 1,425. Assuming I don't just die here. There we go. Man, that was close. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go to Skull Island. I'm gonna kill regular NPCs. It just feels easier. The bosses are always dead now. It could also be a bot thing. There are a lot of bots in the first and... Well, there's a lot of bots in every C. All right, the final four. I don't know if I'm moving on or not. I can't remember if grinding the other ones is terrible. These guys aren't too bad. Their ability, the Fishman or Sharkman karate that they use. So the ability that they use is a little bit annoying. But yeah, see? <laughs> a little bit annoying. It's like instant cast. It's very hard to dodge. But other than that, these guys have been really, really good to grind. Did he? Does he have low HP? Yeah, cool. And then boom. That's it. 450. We just 
roll up the hill here and then back over to the quest NPC. Oh, no, they have a ranged attack. Yeah, that does make them annoying. Die. And die. No, die. There we go. Not too bad. The final stretch, boys. And unfortunately, like what I consider to be one of the worst bosses in this game, the Tide Keeper. Don't know why, but I always die to this thing. I just, I can't get the hang of fighting it. Let's not be lame about this. If he doesn't summon a sea beast, I'll be fine. But I think if he does, the chances of my abilities getting interrupted is way too high. All right, almost dead, almost dead. I think I'll just, I think I should just ignore the sea beasts if they do appear. There we go, finally. <laughs> All right, final kill time. And then we can move on to the third C. So while I'm murdering this guy, like always, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. The first episode of this did fantastically because obviously this is a super hype account. Just like with the first video, as long as this vid does well, gets good comments, gets likes, views, all that sort of stuff, we will definitely be doing a part three. I'm still really enjoying Awakened Doe. Like, it doesn't seem to matter what you go up against. This fruit just, it handles everything. That's why it's getting nerfed. But that's also why we really need to finish this series before it gets nerfed. Oh man, I'm gonna die on my last kill. That stupid CB still kill me. Oh, he's behind the rock. This is it, this is it, yes. 1500, let's go. Save and talk to the NPC. Oh yeah, right, I have to do a couple of quests before we can go to the third C, but that's fine. I'll do that off camera. You guys don't wanna see that boring stuff again. Alrighty, boys, that's it. Part two is done. I definitely now, in part three, need to get the mink race. I've got to defeat some regular sea beasts. Maybe I'll do the factory a bit. I got to grind up some fragments off camera, roll my race, get rabbit. Then we can get version two, version three. That'll all be for the next video. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and thank you all for watching.